Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I will share my top five apps for Android that I think will enhance your ownership of your smartphone. All these apps are free to download, but some of them do require a buck or two to unlock professional features. But even the free features bring a lot to the table. Of course, I'll make sure links to all the apps will be found down in the description box below. So let's dive in and discover. All right, so the first app is Dr. Phone. This is something I would consider an essential app. It's a complete mobile solution that allows you to recover accidentally deleted files such as photos, videos, text messages, and even contacts. Let me just go over the interface and show you all the different options that you can access. Now, just so you know, for certain functionality to work on this app, you do have to have a rooted phone, but there's other things that you can do that do not require any kind of routing access. So basically, if you want to do a quick recovery, you can tap on this icon here, and then it's going to give you all these options. It's going to say recover from cache, uh, photos and video recovery, message recovery, and contacts recovery. The one on the top here does not require for you to have a root access on your phone. So if you tap this guy, it's going to go into your quick recovery screen to your cache, and from here, you can actually uh, recover deleted files that are still on your cache. Now, in this instance, I remembered that I had deleted this file a while ago, but it's still sitting on my cache. So all I have to do is I can tap this icon here, and it's going to allow me to recover the photo. If I simply tap this, it says recovered one file successfully. And of course, if you want, you can go back here and select more pictures together to recover them all together. So that's the quick recovery feature. If you want to do a deeper recovery, if you want to recover photos and videos with certain file formats, so let's say you want to recover some JPEG files, you just uh, pick the format of the image from here or the video. Let's just say MP4 and then you click next. And if your phone is rooted, it's going to allow you to actually do some deep recovery, meaning you'll be able to get pictures and videos back that you think you had deleted, but they're still somewhere on your storage, but not in your cache. Now let's go back here. You can do the same thing with the deep recovery. If you tap on deep recovery, deep recovery will uh, basically recover just about anything. So it's telling me right now it can recover 125 contacts that I may have deleted at some point, messages, photos, uh, audio files, and some other documents. And if I do click next, again, this is going to ask me to connect my smartphone to a desktop interface. So you're going to put your email here. They're going to send you a link. You're going to download the desktop version of Dr. Phone, and then it's going to work with the phone, and it's going to be able to recover all those photos that you thought you may have deleted. Uh, this is great if you delete a conversation, a text message conversation, or a bunch of photos, but later you regret them and you want them back. And this is one way to get it done and believe it or not, it will find stuff that you never thought was possible. So basically, this app is great for people that delete data by mistake and want to recover it. But on top of that, there's more things it can do. It does have a recycle bin feature that works just like what, what's on your uh, computer. So if you delete stuff, it'll just come here. You can recover them easily. And then it's got a transfer feature. So if you tap on transfer, you can transfer information back and forth from your phone to your PC, from your PC to your phone. But again, you're going to have to put your email, get the link to Dr. Phone application for your desktop computer, and that's going to walk you through. It's a very easy procedure. Uh, another thing you can do, which is pretty fantastic, is you can clone the entire phone. So right now, it's uh, looking through the phone and it's finding all these this information, contacts, messages, photos, local photos, uh, audio files, calendar, my call log, my apps, and my app data. And if I click next, again, it's going to ask you to install the desktop software, but it's going to clone the entire phone, okay? At least all these things here. And you can take these things and you can transfer it to your other phone when you upgrade. So this is one way to transfer files, contacts, and stuff like that from one phone to the other. Or you can use the transfer feature. But the cloning is, it's basically just going to clone exactly what's on your phone right now. And finally, if you want, you can back it up. Again, it's the same thing. It's a backup function. So if you currently want to make sure that your phone is properly backed up uh, in relation to all this data here, you can use uh, Dr. Phone for desktop also. Okay, So it does have to work in tandem with the desktop software. All right. 
Let's move on to the next application. All right, so the next app is called AnyDo. AnyDo is a task management and a calendar app. And what I really like about this one is how simple the interface is. So basically at the bottom you have a bar, it says tasks, calendars, and settings. Okay, so if you tap on tasks, this is what you see. You have a bunch of lists such as personal, work, and grocery. So I can tap on all these guys. It will go in there and will give me personalized lists for my personal life, business life, or stuff like shopping. And I can always create more lists. So personal, go to the gym. And then, of course, you can tap on this. You can set reminders. This one does have a reminder. If I tap on this guy, it says September 15th at 6 o'clock, go to the gym. And here's a reminder for me to do that. And if I go back out here, uh, tap that again, you'll see all the lists. If you go to work, it says uh, complete two video projects. Again, you can tap on all these guys and you have all these different options. You can move these things around. You can move it from uh, work to personal. Uh, you can tap these things. You can add some notes and attachments, photos, videos, whatever you want to your actual to-do lists. So that's really enhanced. And if I go back here again, you have a grocery list. You can make one up like, like I didn't buy milk, eggs, and bread. And again, you can remind it. So this one is set uh, for today at 4 p.m. once a week on every Wednesday, right? So you can do all these modifications. So that's the, um, the task management uh, side. And again, if I, I can tap on this, and they'll give me a list of everything for today, tomorrow, upcoming, someday. So as you can see, I have all these different ways to interact with the uh, tasks. The next thing I can do is I can go to calendar. Now this is just a calendar here and you can connect any calendar you want to this app, such as your Google Calendar. And on top of that, even your tasks are going to show up right here by day and date. I simply love the simple user interface this thing offers. As you can see, I can tap this. From here, I can connect all the different apps or calendars that I have to this. And if I go back here, you'll see them populate right there if I add them. You can even modify the view. You can you know, switch between different months, so October, September, or if you just tap on the actual uh, month, it's gonna show you a daily view. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The tasks will show here no matter what. But if you had anything else on your calendar, that would also show up here in addition to your tasks. All right. So fantastic. Now, this is free. But if you want to become a power user, you can, in fact, subscribe. You can also pick themes. You can go with premium. You can change your profile and all that good stuff. I'll let you to discover that. Like I said, the app is, in fact, free to download. Let's move on to the next application. Now, the next application is called Tape It. Now, this is a fantastic wallpaper wallpaper app. It does not download any wallpapers from the internet. It custom generates them on the fly based on patterns. And what you could do is you can do things like this. You can swipe up to bring up a brand new pattern. And then if you don't like that, you keep swiping away. And if you, let's say you like something before this, but you skipped it by mistake, you just swipe down, it goes back to the previous one. But if you we swipe up, you can continue moving forward. And uh, once you find a pattern that you like, you can start playing with that. So you can swipe to the left, and that's going to change the pattern again. But if you swipe to the right, it's going to change the colors for a pattern that you actually do like. So let's go up here to find a brand new thing. So let's say I want to, I like this, but I don't like the colors. So I can go like this, and it's going to allow me to uh, change the colors and pick something that is a little more fit to my style. Let me go back up again. There we go. So let's switch. Boom. Look at that beautiful combination of colors. Now all these wallpapers are custom generated and when you're ready to use one of these you press this and it's going to set that as your current wallpaper as you can see. Beautiful. Tape it is free and you can start doing exactly what I was doing 100% for free and then if you want to uh, access their premium features you can go and unlock that as well. And also, if you tap this uh, color palette over here, it allows you to uh, pick themes based on color. So if I tap this, it's going to find uh, things customized to the color that you pick. All right. Let's try that one more time. Fantastic. Let's move on to the next application. The next app is a widget. Basically, from the side of the screen, you can pull in and it allows you to switch between recently used applications on top of some other features. Now it's called Swiftly Switch. This is the app and this is how you make the modifications to it. So basically you can create a recent app drawer which gets pulled in from the side like I said. 
allows you to switch between apps that you've been using. It's almost like the recent keys window over here, but it's just on the side, okay? But you can do more than that. Uh, let me go back in here to swiftly switch. You can also create other things like quick actions, uh, grid favorites, and circle favorites. So basically, let me show you. So I'm pulling in from the side, but if I go to the top, I can access my quick toggles, which is a grid favorite. So from here, I can touch the uh, turn off the Wi-Fi, as I just did, or I can go back there, pull up here, and actually turn on the Wi-Fi, okay? But again, if I go back into uh, Swiftly Switch, you'll see all these things here are customizable. That's the grid favorites. That was the Wi-Fi window. I can uh, create more rows, more columns, and I can add more quick toggles, okay? But the uh, that's the recent apps you can tap over here. You can even change. If you don't want to use a recent app, you can actually create a shortcut to a specific app so you can have a shortcut drawer on the side of your phone. Again, free to grab, so go grab it. And if you pay a buck, you can unlock some professional features. But I think it has a really nice user interface. So just check it out. If you like it, keep it. And if you really like it, just upgrade. Let's move on to the next application. The final app has to do with wallpapers as well, but this one is called Zedge. Now, Zedge actually goes and downloads papers from the internet, but the specialty of Zedge is that it has millions and millions of wallpapers you can choose from, and of course, other things as well, but I'm really interested in the wallpapers, so tap that. And what you can do here is you can discover apps, I mean wallpapers. Uh, you can go by popular searches, you can go by color themes, or you can go by categories. So if I tap this here, it's gonna find me uh, wallpapers based on that color theme. And if I go back here, and if I tap on anime, for example, it's going to find uh, themes, I'm sorry, wallpapers that are anime based, such as this one right here. And if you tap this, for example, let's say you're ready to apply this to your uh, background. All you do is you tap this icon. It's going to say, it's going to give you a couple options. Save the device, set as a lock screen wallpaper, adjust the wallpaper size, or set as the main wallpaper. Okay. So again, a free application to grab. And it's got a lot of options to play around with. Okay, let's tap that. There we have a bunch of uh, wallpapers for castle lovers. All right, so that was the final app. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.